Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much to my subscribers, welcome newcomers. I hope you like what you see and if so, be part of this journey with us by hitting that subscription button right below in red. It's free of charge, you don't pay anything for it and it helps the channel. And also don't forget to hit the bell notifications for new uploads. I want to thank every single one of you for all your beautiful comments and your support. Thank you so much. And I would like to mention that right up top, there's three little buttons. You can click there to slow down the video to the speed you would like if I'm too fast for you. Also, right next to it, there's the uh, CC closed caption. You can turn that on and you can pause the video and take notes of everything that will be written down here on the stitch that I will be calling. In case you don't have the CC up there or the three little buttons on the video up top, there's three little buttons. You just click there on the settings and it's in there you can slow down the video and also turn your closed caption on the next thing i would like to mention is in the description box everything is always listed below there's a little arrow right uh, like a v upside down right below the video on the right side if you click that little arrow everything will be in the description box so i have my facebook page for the crochet i also have a facebook group crochet that you can join if you have a, pr a profile on your facebook and um, you can um, join us in the group it's a private group so of course you have to have a profile if you don't then unfortunately you can't because there's too many scammers going around with the groups and i want to make sure that we're all safe and nobody's going around scamming anybody I see a lot of that in the groups nowadays, and I'm taking myself away from the groups due to that fact, and also the fact that there is some nastiness going on, especially coming out of administration's mouth. That's not a good thing. So I decided to create my own, inviting you to be part of it if you'd like to. Um, what else? So I also would like to mention, if you please want to help to donate for the women in need of thread and yarn, I need your help to buy them the thread and yarn. I have my PayPal account below in the description box. You can donate whatever you feel like. Everything adds up at the end. So we can help these women to get them busy with, you know, creating some pieces and distract their minds from the daily life stress uh, that they might be going through. It could be a mental stress. It could be family stress. It could be mothers alone with children that cannot afford to buy these threads and yarn. So I really want to help them out. And the only way I can do it is by you and I together helping them out. So please be generous and help out. It doesn't matter the amount. And I want to thank you so much um, for helping. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm sure they will appreciate you too. Very, very much so. So thank you again. Um, anything else? I hope I'm not forgetting. So normally when I'm calling out the stitch and I say chain one, for space for, and I usually say chain one separation that means for space if your stitch is too tight then do an extra chain so instead of doing one you do two chain if your stitch is too loose then do less one chain also uh, when your stitch is extremely tight you should go with the hook one hook size bigger than your normal that you use because that will help to loosen up the stitch when you're going into the second row and try to put your stitches in okay so thank you so much everybody we're going to get started please also share give a thumbs up on the video it helps to circulate the video and have the channel to be recognized share on your facebook public with your family and friends have them join us together as one big family so thank you so much everybody i send much hug and love to every single one of you and many blessings from the universe thank you so much everyone Okay, everyone, so today we're going to get started on this small doily. This is for a bedroom. This is for the night table. So I'm going to make the small one exactly like this because it's two night tables. So this one's ready, and I'm going to make another one the same size. And then I'm going to make a long one for the dresser. That will be in another tutorial. Of course, it will be bigger and starting off point. And this one is 30 by 44, so 30 wide, 44 length. It's just perfect for the night table. 
And these colors were chosen because a person has brown and yellow in their bedroom. So I know on camera doesn't give uh, justice, but this is like a caramel. And this is a deep yellow. On camera looks more lighter, but it's not. It's a deeper yellow. So we're going to get started, everyone. Okay. So I use 100% cotton thread and a four ply hook in size three pair of scissors and of course a little one to tuck in loose ends okay so the first thing you want to do is your slip stitch knot and i also have this yellow and of course i'll be adding the white i'm just getting my stuff together here So we're going to do the slip stitch knot and that doesn't count as a stitch okay and we're going to do 34 chain okay so I'll meet you on the 34 chain so now that we've done the 34 chains we are going to do three more one two and three we're going to come back on the fourth one and make sure that you grab both loops or if you grab only one it's going to curve we don't want it to curve so now at the end you're supposed to have 34 double crochets okay so i'll meet you at the end okay so i've done my 33 now I'm going to do one, two chain, and I'm going to come and do my 34th with a slip stitch right down here. And why am I doing it this way? Because I'm going to fall right into this row here now. Um, always look ahead of the video before you do anything, because sometimes mistakes are done, or I change plans, or I change the stitch as I go. Um, and teach you, of course, how to fix the issue and the problem when it can be done. So now I'm going to go up one, two, and three. I'm going to do a double crochet, one per space. So we're going to have 34 also double crochets on this side. Okay? So very simple, nothing to it. I'll meet you at the end. Okay? So now I've done my 34 double crochets. Now inside of the first double crochet here, we are going to do 10 double crochets. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then a double crochet on top, a double crochet from this row. So we're going to do this all the way to the end. Coming to the end, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do double crochet over double crochet in ten inside of the loop back here but I'll get there with you together so now that we reach the end we are going to come in the first one here the first double crochet right in the center there the last one and do our 10 double crochets three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now we're just going to come on the third space here 
on the last one here and close in with slip stitch. Just like that. And then we're changing colors, but you can perceive the same color if you'd like. And I'm going into the white. Okay, everyone. So basically, where we have the 10 double crochet, so the very first one, I'm going to come in. with single, try to hide my thread, I'm going to go up one, two chain. On the next one, I'm going to do two double crochets together, but we're increasing here on the corners. So two double crochets on the same space, I'm going to do two chain separation. On the next space, again, one double crochet. On the next one, two together. So I'm going to do this where the 10 double crochets are, two chain separation again, next space, one double crochet along, next space, two together. This will be repeatedly six times the same way until the end here. So I finished doing my six groups, if you want to call it. One double crochet alone, next space two together, next space one alone, next space two together. So I have six groups of three double crochet with two chain separation. So I'm going to do chain two, and I'm going to skip one, two, three. On my fourth one, I'm going to do double crochet. On the next space, double crochet. Now, I'm going to come back to this first space here where it's empty and stretch and do a double crochet. Chain two again. One, two, three on my fourth one, double crochet, next space, double crochet. I'm going to come back, give it a stretch, and do a double crochet. Maybe it's best if you can maybe see better with the black. Chain two. One, two, three on the fourth space, double crochet, next space, double crochet, and then I'm going to come back into this space and stretch a bit and double crochet. So I'm going to do that until we get here just before the 10 double crochets here on the corner because we will repeat the same six groups here on this corner too. Now I'm supposed to have six of these, so hopefully I have the right amount to have the six. If not, I'll play with the stitch in order to fit the six groups there. So I have my six groups, one, two, three, four, five, six, chain two, and I'll skip one, two, three on my fourth, which is exactly the first one that starts the 10 double crochets here. So one alone, two together, two chain, next space, one alone, two together. And we're going to repeat the same thing again. So we're going to create the six groups here like we have here. And we must have the six groups on this side as we have here. It's on each and the other side. So now I've done my six groups. And I'm going to do chain two. One, two, three on my fourth one. 
double crochet on my next one, double crochet, and I'm going to come back to the empty space here. Stretch a bit and continue the same way. Chain two, one, two, three on my fourth one. And again, next space, come back. And again, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so I'm coming to the end. Now, if I do a double crochet here, which is no problem to be done, that means I have one space left. That's okay. It doesn't change anything in our book or the pattern. So don't be afraid about it. Chain two. And then we are going to slip stitch on the last one here. So still comes out perfect and no issue. So if you're having an issue on here, you could you don't necessarily have to skip four. If you're having problems, then skip two and go into the third one. And then do one double crochet, next one double crochet. Because look what just happened here. So I did, and I only have one space left, which normally it's like uh, two space left, but no problem. doesn't make no difference. So now we're going to count the white one as row one. So we don't get confused with these ones here. So we just finished doing row one, let's say, and we're just counting the white going into row two. Row two is very simple. Chain two for me, chain three for some of you, okay, so going up chain two or chain three, next space double crochet, and on the last one we're doing two together, so we are increasing, two chain, next space, double crochet, next space, double crochet, and the last one, two together. So we're going to repeat the corners like that. Always an increase on the last double crochet. Two chain separation. I'll meet you here. Take a little bit of lighting from here. Okay, so now we're going to do chain two. We're going to come into the second, the middle double crochet here with double crochet and the last one, double crochet. We're going to come into the first one here and give it a stretch and double crochet. Very simple. Chain two into the middle, the second double crochet with double crochet, the last one with double crochet, and we come into the first one and do double crochet. So we're going to repeat this all the way to the end, the other side the same way, and we're going to repeat the increase on the last double crochet, two on the same space at the corner. So I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so we pretty much finished doing row two of the white, and we're going to continue to do this again, another row before I change color. So we're going to keep adding, so chain two. We're gonna add two at the end. We're increasing here on the corners. So this will be the same way as we just finished doing on row three. Two chain separation. and two on the same space. So I'll meet you here. So I finished doing my two in the same space. This is a row three on the white, so we have five double crochets. And we're gonna continue to do the same thing, two chain, and coming into the middle one, the second one, double crochet, next space, double crochet, and I'm coming back to the first one, 
Give it a stretch. And repeat the, the process the same way. So we're going to do this all the way around. And I'll meet you at the end. I will change colors into the yellow. And I will have two more rows the same way, doing the increase on the last one. Uh, two rows of yellow with the same increase, same motive. And so I'll meet you at the end of one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So I'll meet you at the end of row five, okay? Because it will be a repeat. Row three, row four, and row five is a repeat, okay? Okay, so I've decided to come back because on this row with a different color, I'm grabbing back loops only. You don't have to, but there's always someone that says, no, but I want to do exactly like you, Maggie. So we're doing double crochets, grabbing back loops only, just to give it that effect up front. So two in the same space, just the same, and two chain separation for space. And again, back loops. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end of row five. So I came back again. So on row five, you don't have to grab back loops because it's the same color, but you do grab it on here, except when you're coming in to the third chain. You don't grab back a uh, loop, you grab the whole thing. Okay, so very simple. Just grab all of it. Because we're not doing an effect on the same color, we're just doing the effect between the different colors so it can stand out. Okay, so I'll meet you here and show you. Okay, so nothing changes here. Now, if you were doing the white, then you would have grabbed back loop only. Okay, on the white, um, the first yellow, you would grab back loop only and then you'd come in this is just a sample I should have thought of it to show you but anyway it doesn't change nothing it's not complicated so you would have grabbed back loop and then you would have came and grabbed the whole entire thing up front now because I'm doing the same color I don't need to grab only back loop because there's no effect on this right so I'm grabbing everything all together the same way now I'm going to finish uh, row 5 and then I'm going back to the white and I'm doing row 6 and row 7 the same way always adding 2 at the end and everything else stays the same. Now when I come back with the white, I'm grabbing back loops only again. Okay? So I'll come back and show you. Okay, everyone. So I'm on row 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I'm doing the normal as, as we're doing. Now I'm just grabbing back loops again because it's a different color. And I want the design to pop up on the exchange here of colors. So doing the same thing, just grabbing back loops only. Now I'm going to have one more row, row seven, before we change the, um, the pattern. So chain two. Now we're going to grab back loops also. Coming into the middle one, back loop, and complete loops up front. Give it a stretch and go. Chain two again, back loop, next space back loop, and grab all of them. So Row 7 will be the same thing. The only difference is because I'm using white, 
There's no need to grab back loops. We're grabbing all the loops together. We're still doing two at the end of each motive here at the, at the edges. So I'll meet you at the end of row seven. Okay, everyone. So I finished row seven going into row eight. Two chain for me. For some of you, it's three. So we're always going to increase here on this one. This row will only be double crochets all the way around. And the increase stays the same. So coming to the end, two together. Now you can go over here and do your double crochet. I'm going to come inside of the chain and do my double crochet. We do have the two chains here, so it's two double crochet and then one per space until we get to the end and do the two double crochets together at the last double crochet. Okay, just like that. So I'll meet you here on this side. Okay, so we pretty much did the double crochets, two inside of the space, and two at the last double crochet. Now, we have the two chain here, so we're going to do the two double crochets. I'm doing inside of the loop, but you can do outside if you'd like, in one per space. So we have three double crochets here, we're doing three double crochets. We're going to do it the same way all the way around. And I have one more row of the white, and then I'm going into that khaki brown. So row eight, I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so we are on row one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, going to row nine. So I close in with slip stitch. I'm going up two chain into the next one. Double crochet into the next one, double crochet, and into the next one, double crochet. So I have four double crochets. We'll complete the rest as we come along. We need to do groups of seven double crochets. I have three, four, five chain. Skip one, two, three. On your fourth one, we're going to create again groups of seven double crochet. So two, four, six, seven, chain five, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three on your fourth one. So this whole row will be put up this way. Continue yours and I will meet you at the end. I'm cutting my thread and going in with the khaki brown. Okay. Okay, you guys, so we're on this side almost completing. We have the four double crochets here. Now, if I'm only to skip three and go into the fourth, I'm going to have too much left over over here. So what I'm going to do here, we're supposed to have three squares on the side, exactly like we have here, these three. And on the curves, we have seven. So we have to have the same amount, seven on this curve and seven on the other. So I'm going to skip one, two, three, four. I'm going to go into my fifth one. And this is right after the last motive here. And do the seven double crochets. Okay. Doing the seven double crochets. Chain five again. And skip again. One, two, three, four. I'm going into the fifth one again and create the seven double crochets. And that doesn't change anything at all on the pattern. Okay. So I've done my seven again, chain five, three, four, and five. And this time I have one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to go into the sixth and create my three double crochets that I'm missing for this group here. So 
So you're still going to have your three and your three here and seven space on both ends. I'm going to cut my thread and change into the khaki brown going into row 10. So I'm going to start on my first space here on the first motive. I'm going to do seven double crochet, well, it's not double crochet, so single and three chain, turn twice for triple, take out two, take out two, and take out two. And again, so we're going to do seven triples inside of this space. Two, four, six, and seven with one extra. Now we're going to skip this first one and coming into the second one with back loops. One, two, three, four singles, and again come back in and do your seven triples. This row will be repeatedly the same way all the way around. Done my seven triples. I'm going to skip first, go into the second back loop with single, one single, two single, three single, and four single. And again, loops of seven triple inside of the space here. So I'll continue yours and I'll meet you at the end. Okay everyone, so we finished doing row 10. I'm coming in with the white now. So I'm going to start right here before the motive and I'm coming in with a single on the second space, back chain only, so skip one into the second one. And we're doing the triple again, but this time we're coming from the back to the front, or sorry, from the back to the front to the back, and doing triple crochet. One chain separation, again, next space, from the back to the front, into the back, triple, one chain, from the back to the front to the back, one chain, and again the same thing. Now if you need to rewind and look at it again, so from the back to the front, into the next space to the back and pull out your three your triple crochet again one chain and the very last one so you're going to have one two three four five six seven exactly like the bottom ones we're going to skip this first one we're going to the second one, back chain, but don't grab only the back chain. Try to go right in the center to have two on there so it can be more secure. And repeat the pattern again. So continue yours and I'll meet you at the end. Everyone, so I've arrived at the end at the single. I did a slip stitch and I'm changing color, and it will be the last row. Now, reminder that I will be creating the longer piece for the dresser, so you might want to stay tuned for that if you want to create the set. So 
I will start with the yellow. So I'm going to come in with my yellow. This is the last row, row 12. And this is going to be very simple. It's just pecans. So I'm going to come in. It doesn't matter where you come in. I'm going to come in in the first triple. One, two, three chain. I'm going to close it in as peacock with a single and coming in and do a single on the next triple. One, two, and three. Peacock with a single and come in with the next triple. One, two, and three. So I'm going to have three peacocks of three chain. Three peacocks, and I'm going to do chain five, two, three, four, five. So this one's a little bit longer just to give it a little bit of a difference. Close in with single and continue again with three peacocks one, two, and three. One, two, and three. So we have three peacocks on this side of three chain, one of five, and then this one. So with this one here, I'm going to come in right over from the back and do a front post. And then again, one, two, three, do the peacock. And come into the first chain. One, two, and three. Actually, no, sorry. So, did the front post. Sorry about that. Front post. And I'm coming in to the first triple. One, two, and three. And we continue again the same thing. Doing the peak, the three peacocks. So now I have my three peacocks. I'm going to do chain five. So one, two, three, four. On your fourth one, you do chain five, two, three, four, and five, and close in. Peacock with single and then continue again to do the other three peacocks. So very simple. And the last peacock, which is the third one on this side after the five chain of peacock coming in from the back to the front and front post and then going into the first triple here and continue again the same way. So this pretty much does it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for creating these pieces with me and please give a thumbs up on the video it's very important to have the video circulate so i'll see you in the next tutorial which will be the bigger uh, the bigger runner for the dresser thank you so much everybody take care of each other and especially yourself bye bye everyone well of course i will have everything in display at the end